Well, Jamie did an interview with Angela Yee mm -hmm. about that situation, which I'm sure you saw. Of course. And um, he said that he had heard that you were talking trash about him, that you were like better than him or, or something like that. But when I watched an interview with you on Comedy Hype, you said that that's just not even your style. That, that was the furthest thing from the truth. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if you just go off of logic, I was in an arena with so many famous people, a place that I didn't want to be. I was uncomfortable being there. You can see when I came up how uncomfortable I was. Mm -hmm. That makes no sense that I would have been backstage bragging. And I used a comparison in the interview with Comedy Hype uh, to say, I mean, it's like a rookie coming on with Michael Jordan or Kobe and saying in the locker room, yeah, I'm going to destroy you guys. I'm going to go up I mean, who would do that? That just, this is not logical, and it doesn't fit with my personality. I'm not that type of person anyway. I'm 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 not a braggadocious, boasterous type of person. Right, and I think you had mentioned that at that time you were like studying MMA and fighting. I was big into uh, into jujitsu. Jiu yeah, and you're a pretty big guy, you know. Still, you know, <laughs> fairly tall in shape, and I guess that you thought. That you might actually, I guess, punch Jamie in the face afterwards. Or I didn't something think like I that. was gonna punch him in the face afterwards. What I thought was is that, you know, before anything, I'm a, I'm a man, and I felt like to a degree I had been disrespected as a man. Mm -hmm. So my first inclination, which I did, was to confront him and like, hey, you know, what was that about, man? What was? And we did. We had a conversation backstage, and I remember him saying, "Hey, you know what? It was a roast." You have to get broken in. He said that uh, whoever the guy that plays Al Bundy, um, yeah, I can't remember the actor's name, but he said, hey, he did it to me. So it was, you know, when we spoke about it, it was just like, hey, man, it's, this is a part of the game. You know, charge to the game. You know, you got to be broken in. You were a, a, a kind of like a virgin in the game. And, you know, you, have to have, you just have to take one, not necessarily for the team, but your first one, you just have to take it on the chin and get better. And, that, and, and, and it was spoken in a in a in a manner to me that was, hey man, don't take it personal. It's just, it's comedy. And I also had to, at that time, assess the fact that I'm a comedian. So if I had gotten into a fight with him backstage, if we had run, and I'm not saying that I would have beat Jamie Foxx. I'm just saying, had there been an altercation, I feel like it would have been worse. Like, hey, you're a comedian. You can't take a joke. You know, mm. you you up on right. stage at a roast and you get upset and you fight the guy. So it's true. Yeah. You know, that's how I looked at it. Yeah, that could have really ended your career completely. It, it could have. It could have been really uh, bad. Or it could have gone the opposite direction. It could have gone it's the, like it could have gone. The Jamie way. Fox got punched in the face for disrespecting, you know. Because I think it's one thing to be a heckler, right? If you're doing a show and you got like a heckler in the audience that that wants to talk their shit or whatever else, but you guys are all there to do the same job, and. He could have, after you finished, he could have gotten up and talked a bunch of shit about you, but he was literally talking over you and not letting you get a word in edgewise. And that's what people don't see. And, 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 and yeah, I remember like the, the one thing, it was like the thing that kind of irked me a little bit was like, you would say something, he would repeat what you said, like, like a little child. Like, you know how little kids would repeat you, you know, like how your kids probably have done. Like, right, yeah, of course. It's like, you would say that he would repeat what, what you know, what you would say. And I'm like, ah, whew. <laughs> Yeah. It, it was tough to watch as a as a fan of, of everyone that was on that stage. And, and you know, and, and, and the crazy thing about it was is that when it was happening, because people always said, you know, there was one comeback that I could have said, because at that time he had just been punched in the face by LL Cool J. Right. I could have just said, hey, you can say what you want about me, but I didn't bitch out with LL Cool J. Nobody's ever punched me in the face. And I could have said it, but going through, if you go back and when you watch that tape, what I was actually thinking is, I didn't want to be here. You know, I, I, this is not what I'm, and here I am now absorbing and having to take this and it's something that I didn't want to do to begin with. And it just goes to the notion of follow your first mind. If you don't feel, and it, which, 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 which goes back to what I said about Joanna Man and being, you know, playing a woman. If your heart is not into something, don't do it. My heart was not into that and it dictated how I reacted. Mm -hmm. When something happens, it's almost like you walking into a situation, you go, man, I knew I shouldn't have done this. Instead of taking on the situation or whatever it is, I was in my head saying, this is not something I wanted to do.